All right, everyone, welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, super excited that you've joined me here on this solo episode here today. And first off, let me just express a ton of gratitude to you, the listener. Uh, I know I have listeners from all over the world, and I just appreciate each and every one of you to take the time out of your day uh, to spend a few minutes here with me means more to me than you can ever imagine. And I just want to make sure that you are aware of that. And so thank you for taking a few minutes here with me on this episode. And today, I want to talk about pivots. I talk about pivots a lot, or I have in past episodes, and I feel like I'm about ready to move into another pivot here with the podcast. Uh, as I, you may or may not know, I launched the podcast in April of 2023. So just about a year and a half ago, I guess now. I didn't do the exact math, but a little more than a year. And I'm about 180 episodes in uh, as of uh, the launch of this episode, maybe a little bit more. And I'm always trying to get better, right? As I'm trying to record, uh, trying to get better at presenting, trying to get better at finding guests, uh, asking better questions of the guests, trying to get better at even the editing process and make sure that the quality is of uh, you know a high standard. I want to obviously present and do the best of quality work that I can for you, the listener. So I'm ever evolving with the podcast. Uh, when I first started, I was talking mostly, or I was trying to talk mostly about financial education along with personal development. Those are two big uh, pillars or factors in my life that I've always tried to focus on a lot. And so a lot of the episodes, I was trying to discuss a lot of key elements in that. And then I moved into more of the uh, winning within, uh, trying to focus on your internal battle, that battle that we have going on within all of us, right? That internal dialogue, the self-doubt, uh, the imposter syndrome, all of those things that are keeping us from accomplishing the greater things that we can out there, go out there and do in the world, right? But now I feel like I've got a different calling again. And it's not, you're not going to notice a lot of change in the episodes as far as how they're delivered, even the uh, sound and, and what you hear, what you see. I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an update as far as like what I'm feeling and how I want to move forward with the podcast. And hopefully it'll resonate with you. And maybe it might resonate with some folks that are in your close proximity, whether it's family or friends that you might feel of interest to share it with them. And I would greatly appreciate that. But so trying to think of pillars. I mentioned pillars as far as the financial education and then the and the personal development piece here at the beginning, but three things that I really want to focus on moving forward, at least for this next phase, until I pivot again, because I'm sure at some point I will do another pivot, but three pillars that I want to focus on moving uh, into this next phase of the Rich Mind podcast. I want to focus a lot on health. I want to focus a lot on wealth. And then I want to focus a lot on legacy. And so let me describe to you what I mean by each of those. Uh, so the health piece, uh, as you may or may not know, I just turned 50 this year in 2024. And so health is a big piece of my life. I'm trying to obviously be the most healthy that I possibly can. To say that I'm, uh, you know, an, a, a huge person as far, as far as like going out there and trying all the different things. I'm not the best at my diet. I, I do try to stay as active as I possibly can. I'm not the greatest at it by any means. I'm not proclaiming to be an expert, but I'm trying to obviously be better for myself uh, every single day. I try to move. I try to obviously eat well. I try not to eat too much of the junk. Uh, and what I want to do with that part of the pillar for the Rich Mind podcast, I want to share some of the things that I'm doing, share some of the things that are working for me, some things that are not working for me. And then I also want to bring on guests that I think will add a ton of value to you, the listener, that will not only teach me, but teach us, right? Teach us collectively to try to get better in our health. Uh, you may or may not know, I lost both of my parents early in, in their lives to cancer. And so just trying to combat that in my own life, thinking through that, being aware, being conscious of taking care of myself is such an important thing for me that I'm trying to do for myself, but then obviously for my family as well, which kind of ties into that legacy piece. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. So health, we're going to dive into uh, some topics and some things that I'm focusing on with my own personal health, and hopefully it'll help you uh, out there moving forward as well. But then also I want to talk about wealth. So what do I mean by wealth? I don't just mean financial wealth. It could be wealth of friendships. It can be wealth of community. 
Uh, but yes, we'll talk about some financial wealth as well. I just got off of a connection call right before I hopped on and hit record here today with a gentleman that manages money in the stock market. And we're going to have a fantastic conversation about what the, what inflation is, why everybody seems to be struggling and they don't even realize what's going on. We're going to talk about the Federal Reserve. We're going to talk about topics that you may or may not be even be aware of. But the whole point and the thing that he and I agreed on is that it's to educate. We want to get you educated on topics to help you go out there and make some different financial decisions for yourself. The whole idea is that you need to take responsibility for your financial future. That's where wealth comes in. Uh, but you can also have wealth of relationships. Uh, we're going to talk about trying to get out there in the community. I obviously want to try to build a community here on the Rich Mind Podcast and try to help you become the person that you're really meant to be. And you need some wealth to do that. We'll talk about financial wealth, but then we'll also talk about different topics from in, within that pillar of wealth as well. And then finally, we're going to talk about legacy. So one thing that really, it, <laughs> this is where it's really a, a big topic for me. Once again, you may or may not know, I have just recently, I've got a grandson now. He has uh, just turned uh, 11 months old. So hopefully in the future someday, he'll be listening to this. So the idea of legacy is that I want to leave behind all of my health, my wealth, and anything else that goes along with that for him, for the rest of my family. I have three children as well. I have a wife uh, and uh, we're, I want to leave as much of a legacy that I can for the Wilsons moving forward. Uh, whether or not that Wilson name continues on uh, generationally, I'm not sure at this point, obviously, because the uh, family is still evolving and growing, but I'm hoping it will. And what I want to do is I want to leave as much of a legacy that I can for them. And that's where the wealth piece and that's where the health piece uh, for me comes into that. So with legacy, I want to talk not only about family, but then I want to also talk about uh, insurance. We're going to talk about insurance and how building the right types of insurance can help you building out a legacy. I have a couple of folks in mind that I want to bring on to the podcast that we're going to talk about some basics. So when my father passed, uh, he did not have anything set up for me, for my brother, for my family at all to help transfer what wealth he had created. Uh, anything that he had done for himself, he didn't have anything set up to transfer that wealth over in a legacy standpoint to us, the rest of the family. I've, that won't happen for me in my family moving forward. I've made a promise to my kids and now I'm making a promise to my grandson that that will not happen moving forward. So you may or may, not, may, or may not even know what that means for you. And that's, will be the point of talking about the legacy piece. We're going to talk about insurance. We're going to talk about wills. We might talk about setting up different trusts. I might find some uh, different, maybe lawyer type folks that talk about trusts and how you can set up different structures to help your beneficiaries, right? Your family moving forward, build that legacy and then pass that on in an efficient way that it definitely becomes an asset to them. Uh, versus a liability. As I mentioned, when my father passed, he didn't have anything set up. And my brother and I struggled for months weeding through the things that he had set up, trying to figure out who owned what. And it was just a mess. And I don't wish that for you moving forward. So if I can help you with talking about some of those things as well, uh, that's what I want to do with the Rich Mind here, podcast here as well. So today, just wanted to hop on and talk to you about the pivots that I see for the Rich Mind Podcast. Once again, I want to express a ton of gratitude for you joining me here. Hopefully those topics that I mentioned uh, will resonate with you. Hopefully those will be things that you will be interested in listening to. And if they are, uh, I would just greatly appreciate you sharing it with your family and friends. And then you can also leave me a review on the podcast platform of your choice. I'm also on YouTube. You can find me if you search for at Randy Wilson on YouTube. You should see me pull up there as well. I would highly recommend if you want to catch me shooting videos as well, uh, which is where I pull the audio for the podcast, you can find me there as well. So go out there, have a fantastic day. I appreciate you joining me here on this short solo episode. And I look forward to diving into this next phase, this next pivot of the Rich Mind podcast. And I hope to add as much value as I possibly can into your life moving forward. So go out there, have a fantastic day. Focus on being great. I look forward to coming back with the next episode again very soon. Until then. Bye now.